Hello everyone. Welcome to Discover Psychology. I hope you all are doing well. In this video, we shall learn about the history of intelligence testing as per HSC Maharashtra Board Psychology Syllabus 2020. In my previous videos, I have covered concepts of intelligence, the definition and the types of intelligence tests. Both are really important topics. Please ensure that you study them thoroughly for your board exams. I have shared the links to those videos in the description box and i button that you can find at the top of your YouTube screen. Now quickly turn to page number 14 of your textbook and pay complete attention as I explain it to you and make notes in your notebook. This will help you when you study by yourself. Now remember since it's history. I would suggest you to note down these details from your textbook in a form of a table. Now, let us start with 2.3.1, page number 14 of your textbooks. So, let's start with the measurement of intelligence, page number 14 of your textbooks. History. Paul Broca and Sir Francis Galton. Remember, Sir Francis Galton is known as the father of psychological testing. So, Paul Broca and Sir Francis Galton were among the first scientists to think about measuring intelligence. In the mid 1880s, Sir Francis Galton administered a battery of tests. A battery of tests means a number of tests that are together administered to measure intelligence or any other psychological variable. Variable is anything that varies. So those are the things that we can measure. So what, he, what did he measure? Please note it down. Head size, reaction time, visual accuracy, auditory threshold, breathing capacity. Now if you notice all of these are physical in nature. Your head size the circumference he would measure, like how big it is, reaction time means how quickly you are able to respond to a particular stimulus. Now suppose if you are given red light and yellow light and I tell you to tell me that whenever I show you the red light, yes I see the red light. So how fast you are able to notice the red light is called reaction time. Visual accuracy is basically your visual capacities, how good you can see. Auditory threshold, this means how quickly you can respond to a auditory sound, like a particular sound and breathing capacity. He thought he could determine intelligence by measuring the size of the human skull. He assumed that the larger the skull, the smarter the person. But Sir Francis Galton's test did not prove very useful for the measurement of intelligence. From this we can understand that all of these things have nothing much to do with intelligence. And we cannot say that the bigger the head or bigger the skull, you are more intelligent. You are more intelligent. In the 1890s, Raymond Cattell, an assistant in Sir Francis Galton's laboratory, established similar laboratories in the US. During this time, Raymond Cattell used the term mental test for the first time in the psychological literature. So, mental test will always be Raymond Cattell and this happened for the first time in psychological literature. Raymond Cattell shared Sir Francis Galton's views that intelligence is best measured through sensory tasks but expanded his mentor's ideas by emphasizing that test construction must be standardized so that results are comparable from person to person and from time to time. Sensory tasks. So what are sensory tasks? Sensory tasks are anything that we have to do with our sense organs like a vision, audition, gustation, that is taste, olfaction, smell, anything like that is the so he thought that if we give a task that measures anything uh, with these organs, it is the best way to measure intelligence. 
now test administration must be standardized standardized means that whenever we are administrating the test it should be given to a person and other persons in the same way now one person cannot administer the test differently give a time differently and then also give instructions also very differently to the person so then it will vary the test results will vary so this is what uh, this is what raymond cattle cattle wanted to avoid in the beginning of the 20th century the school authorities in paris were keenly interested in knowing the reasons for repeated failure of certain st students in the examination as no medical reason or any environment factor was found to be associated with their failure so now school authorities or government people in the in paris they wanted to find out why certain students are keeping on failing in the exam even when there is no medical reason to justify their failure or any environment like divorce war or any like such kind factors that are that are being experienced and are associated with their failure so they spoke to um, binay and with binay's help they were able to uh, form the binay simon intelligence test in collaboration with theodore simon french psychologist alfred binet published the first scale of intelligence in 1905 this is really important so alfred binet is considered the father of intelligence test now i told you francis galton as the father of psychological testing that is different okay so francis galton was the first one to measure anything in psychology that's why he is called the father of psychological testing whereas alfred binet is only the father of intelligence test remember that don't get confused binet simon intelligence scale consists of several components such as logical reasoning finding rhyming words and naming objects so his tests had logical reasoning and rhyming words and naming objects this scale was revised in 1908 and again in 1911 and now also it is being revised next lewis terman now another person from stanford university revised the binet simon intelligence scale in 1916 so now we first had it done in 1905 then 1908 and then 90 1911 and now 1916 so this is the fourth edition you must remember this he adapted few items adapted as in he modified it according to the population at that time he added other items he established new age norms norms are comparing a particular population based on their age group so you have things that are done at 3 3 years 4 years 5 years in my previous video if you see i have explained very well about a particular test the B, uh, bkt binet kammer test how it is scored please look at that in the description box so you will be able to understand better of how what is the meaning of age norms and extended the upper age limit of the test so he expanded the age limit of the people who can be taking the test this revised test is known as the stanford binet test this test was revised in 1937 that is the fifth for time 1966th time 1972 1986 and recent one is 2004 then the first world war began in 1914 you would have learnt it in your school days about this later on in 1917 robert yorks with the help of his colleague prepared army alpha and army beta intelligence tests 
obviously this is for the army population and you must remember the army and the world war has given a lot of been given a lot of importance in the field of testing and it is because of this that we have many tests today these intelligence tests were used while recruiting soldiers in the army so army alpha and army beta tests were used in um, appointing soldiers in the army like who can be a soldier was determined using these tests in the post world in the post first world war period the importance of intelligence test increased in 1913 during the second world war again while recruiting soldiers in the army an intelligence test named as the army general classification classification test was used on a large scale so you have to somehow mug up all this so best way as i told you before is to make a table with the year with the particular year the person who contributed it and what he contributed and all of that details you can maintain in this table and learn this only for your exams rather than learning it from here david weschler in 1939 published the weschler bellevue intelligence scale this scale was revised in 1955 and was renamed as the weschler adult intelligence scale ways ways is is a test designed to measure intelligence of adults and older adolescents this scale is now used uh, even in our country and it is a very important clinical tool for measuring intelligence there is a, ch a children's version also it is called as wisc w i s c weschler's intelligence scale for children the fourth edition of this test ways 4 was released in 2008 by carl pearson now uh, in your textbooks and everywhere apart from this textbook it is actually carl pearson is not credited to ways 4 uh ways 4 is published by pearson it is a company okay carl pearson is a person who is related in statistics and it, there is nothing got to do with ways 4 but uh until and unless the board gives you the correction for this please don't change this and write this only in your exams because this is how your board exam will be corrected but for your knowledge it is nothing got to do with carl pearson carl pearson is a part of statistics and it is not to do with ways 4 ways 4 is published by pearson company if you google it also you will be able to understand this pearson is a company not carl pearson david weschler also developed an intelligence test to measure the intelligence of children as i already told you before it is wisc weschler's intelligence scale for children besides these tests many other psychologists have developed various intelligence tests the number of intelligence tests and applications of intelligence testing are increasing day by day so if at all you plan on taking psychology in your graduation and masters you will be taught many intelligence tests and it is very fun in administrating it and also being a subject and getting it done so if you get a chance to do it for in uh, as a subject or even administrating it on someone else please go and do it it's really fun so here we have completed the history of intelligence testing i request all of you all to learn this by heart as it is really important and also make a table for this if you want i will be i will also share my table and i will circulate it on the telegram group so if you haven't joined the telegram group join it so that you receive this document thank you for watching Please like share and subscribe to my channel if you have liked the content today do not forget to click the bell button when you subscribe thank you